The Israeli Prime Minister may have been pleasantly surprised to see friendly demonstrators during his European visit as Israel presses ahead with controversial settlement plans in one of the most sensitive areas of the occupied West Bank. Palestinian sympathizers also turned out in Prague to protest against Israel, but Benjamin Netanyahu had come to thank the Czech Republic for voting against the Palestinians' diplomatic upgrade to non-member observer status at the UN. Israel, he said, would not sacrifice its vital interest to seek the world's applause. For peace to endure, it must be a peace that we can defend. No other peace can survive in the Middle East. We remain committed, as you said, to a negotiated settlement between us and our Palestinian neighbors. EU states have been struggling to agree a common response to the building plans. The EU, in line with several countries, has summoned Israel's ambassador for an explanation. The Palestinian president called the proposed construction a red line. <laughs> It's a red line not because it divides the West Bank, and this is correct, but just because it's settlement activity. We say this should not happen, and if it will happen, we will go through our legitimate ways and by law stop Israel from doing this. Back in Israel, the first administrative wheels began turning to put the settlement plan on the road. Netanyahu was off to Germany, where Chancellor Merkel was expected to warn him that Israel risked diplomatic isolation.